This is class 9th employability skills information technology 402 unit number 4 entrepreneurial ship skills we are taking role of entrepreneur or entrepreneurship so we are going to discuss that here if you assume yourself to be an entrepreneur, who are entrepreneur? First, who do some economic activity, start some business. That is, it has to be some economic activity. They will take some calculated risk and they will bring some innovative ideas that is useful for the society, that is beneficial for the society. These are entrepreneur. So how do they work, help the country? Because they are working, they are, they are a part in the economy. So whosoever country who encourages this or say facilitate this entrepreneur, give some loan, award, etc. These countries, they grow fast. So it becomes very important for us to understand what are the role and the benefits of entrepreneurship, right? So if they are setting some business, they are starting some work, then what are the use, benefits and usage for them to the society? The first thing is money. You know, it's all economy, business, money, everything is money only. So if you become a shopkeeper, you work for someone, you go to some business, go to some job, even if you go to say politics, it's all about money. So entrepreneur, they are actually adding up, they are adding the value, they are creating a value because the things are there, but they are just adding certain more uh, creative thing. So whatever product they are making or they are providing some services to the society, to the customer, because they are making it available in a good way, in a better way, in a cheaper way. It can be product or it can be services. So manufacturing is a product if you do some, some product. But uh, hotel business and taxi business, transportation, these are the services. So finally, the economy is growing because of this. The country's economy, the state economy, the province economy. So if you are doing a good business, and if it really works, then you are going to get a good return. And then people will come to you. That is the investor. Investor means those people who are having a lot of money. They will invest money in your work, in your business. And they will ask for some percentage. Say they are giving you 100 rupees. They are asking, you have to return me 120. Okay. So if you are earning 140, you can keep 20. You can give it back to investor. So you are getting good return without investing anything because you are invest you have investors now. So now you are an entrepreneur, you are creating the business opportunity and that is how the economy is growing. So the, num the more the entrepreneur, the more the economy will grow for a country and it will help the country and consequently the people of the country. Now comes the social development, creation of jobs. Everyone needs a job. Because if a person, say if he's single or he is married, she'll have a wife, say two kids or mother, father. Now in order to take care of these many people, either the women or a man has to earn. Because there are so many requirements, food, you know, house, transportation. If you don't have money, you cannot do anything. So job creation is such an important issue. So if you start or if somebody start a business and he's an entrepreneur, he may start with say a very initial a small business. Okay, maybe some some businesses people start, but it it uh, it just vanishes because the ideas are not good or it is they have some done some mistake. So when your work becomes from small to, to big, now you can the entrepreneur is going to expand the business. 
So when they expand the business, if it really works, now this entrepreneur is going to give job because he might need more people of different field, different education. So that is how the jobs will be created. People are going to get job and entrepreneur is going to give the job. Right? So people want to get a good job in good company. Why do they want this? Because the big company, the good company like LNT, like TCS, like all these big giant private G, the Reliance company, they are going to give you a good life. If you happen to get a job here, you will be having a good life. Not only for you, for all your dependent people that you'll, you'll get, say, a retirement benefits, you'll get medical benefits, you'll get a good salary, you'll get a good, good increment if you work properly. So that is how these uh, good companies will help you. The entrepreneur will help you. Now coming to uh, see a very psyche of an individual. Everyone wants, if he has a cycle, he wants scooter. If he has a scooter, he wants uh, a car and then he might need some more. Everyone wants his or her own house, okay? So everyone wants or everyone needs and deserves a good life, a good standard of living, a quality life. Everyone wants it, right? There's no one who doesn't want it. So when the entrepreneur sells products, when the entrepreneur is making some product, it is, uh, say, providing the product, or even if he is providing the services, for example, a tractor, mobile phone, or even the mobile service, that is Vodafone, Airtel, or the mobile like the Samsung or the so iPhones, what is happening? The people who are buying it, the, the people who are getting it is are benefited. For example, the tractor, the farmer will get benefited by the tractor. Mobile phones, mobile services, to everyone, I'm writing EN, for everyone. That is... The life of people will become easy. Life of people will become comfortable. Let me give an example of a village. Now what is happening in this village is the people are using very bad quality soap. They are using soap, but the soap is not antibacterial. It's not antifungal. It's not even produces good foam. So it's not working as a soap. So it's not cleaning it because the work of soap is to clean. So what happens? Wherever there is not cleanliness or there is dirt or microorganisms, kitano, jivano, uh, there will be germs and people will get sick. They will fall sick. So an entrepreneur will see what? It will see as an, it as an opportunity. He will see that, okay, now this village is not having the proper soap. He or she will go to the so big city. He will buy, he will get some antibacterial, antifungal, good kind of soap and not... Uh, wanting for a very huge profit, they will bring it and sell it to the village people. And other people, because they are getting of the, in the same price a good so, they are going to buy it and all the problems of falling sick or they are, they are washing your hand, they are washing their hands, they are cleaning themselves. So this is also an example of living, standard of living which is enhancing. Now coming to the optimal use of resources so if i tell you about resources they are renewable resources they are non-renewable resources renewable resources that means they if you, even if you use they will not get depleted ever water air like this they will never get vanished it will remain but there are certain resources which are very precious like oil oil crude oil uh, petrol diesel you farm from it so the crude oil the minerals which you find uh, below below earth surface and it will take millions of years to to form it right now these are non renewable resources so now what happens the entrepreneur work is because he is uh, because he might have learned he might have some some knowledge and he is uh, he is he wants profit also so what he will do or she will do he or she will find an optimal ways, a good way, an efficient way of using these resources because the, the, way, the work of entrepreneur is to reduce cost and to increase the profit, right? Say, for, say we have 10 liters and um, it will vanish in 2 years, 5 years. 
so they will do something so that it sustain for 50 years that is ideas ideas is what are, what are sold what what do you say iit people iim people why they are getting so much of salary it's not that their body is different it's, it's not that they look differently everything everyone is like us the only thing the mind they have the knowledge they have the iq they have that is what people give their money for now more benefits at lower prices products and services at competitive price for example there is one month of new so let us take the example of soap bolsi only now they are uh, selling the same kind of soap right one per one entrepreneur is selling it for say 5 rupees the other one is selling for 4 rupees so you, you will go to whom the four one but what will happen to the first one he has to reduce the the soap price to 4 because you are going to for the soap wherever you get for the cheaper price you'll go there a good service you'll go there right so what this other and uh, entrepreneur has done he has done something so that the market people who are charging more now they are giving it in a reduced price right so this is how the customer is benefited the society is benefited okay let us see the question and answer now so first of all this is let me read it gulab lives in a small village in rajasthan so gulab is living in a small village in rajasthan and she noticed that all the women in her village were good at making paintings and handicraft product okay she is not making but the women are making right now what will happen uh, she collected money and started a business gulab started a business the gulab would help the women to get material from cities and support them in making the latest design so the now what what they she will do supporting them giving them good design and bringing the raw material from the cities this is the work gulab is doing now right so she would then arrange for these paintings and handicraft products to be sold in big cities so no one has to go anywhere they just have to make they are getting the raw material and gulab will do everything they are going to sell it right so this is helping gulab society how it is helping so see let me give you an answer how do you think gulab is helping as an entrepreneur now gulab the women in in the village she is getting them the raw material from say some town and provide them with good design also now the product being made she sells it in the city now how she is helping first of all gulab is creating jobs for them she is an entrepreneur because the women they are working and now they are working for getting money so now they are getting getting independent and they are earning their livelihood they don't have to go anywhere gulab is doing everything she is bringing everything to their houses they are making and she is just taking the stuff so so now the big business has as grow so the painting and handicraft requirement is more what will happen these people uh, are, will be less so more people will be required more women will be required so now more people will get job uh, say from that uh, particular village or nearby village so you see they are getting money through gulab they are getting profit and uh, gulab is also getting profit for example just take num take a number say she has some 100 rupees of um, investment and then 20 for transportation now she sells it for 400 so she gets around 380 uh, say 280 actually now 280 now she can say give them salary or amount as 200 and then 80 rupees she is getting so this is how she is also getting profit and the women are also getting profit they are getting jobs as well now next question is give example of three entrepreneur you know who live around you right how they are helping your city so you see here this is actually the answer to be given by you because 
you are more aware of what is going on in your vicinity but i i can give you a hint first is there is a small village you can say there is a small village near my town and we don't have good quality soap and villagers are getting sick so i am rahul i am an entrepreneur and i go to the call i would go to the city i get antibacterial antifungal and a good quality soap from the city and then i bring it and sell it to the village people and other people have started using this soap and now the instance of getting sick is less next one is just one is a farmer in our village is an entrepreneur and he has started organic farming because he is not using any pesticide so he is trying to sell free vegetables okay which in turn helping people to improve their health problems right so he is doing something which people require people are fed up with the all chemicals they are getting in their food so now he is working to get them away from all these pesticides so because of this organic farming next one is avatar avatar is the daily farmer in uh, you can say in your village on the banu and he feed buffalo with herbs you can say medicine or some you know energetic thing and that is a herb which is free from pesticide there is no chemical because you know we all are as i just said we are all fed up with the present day infiltration of this pesticide in our food so now the quality of milk getting is good chemical free milk people are getting products they are getting so that is how he is helping as an entrepreneur the people the society and even the upcoming kids okay this is all about this discussion thank you so much take care of yourself